Welcome everyone to the alt new build a flower hop. This is to celebrate the new release of the crocus flower. This is a beautiful big bloom flower with these really long stemmed leaves, which I love. And it, of course, like with all of their stamps, they have so much detail to them. I'm going to create a traveler's notebook insert. Now, with all of their Build a Flower releases, they always have a guide to show you examples and ways to layer how to how to actually layer your stamp, which is so invaluable. I'm so glad they do that. But in this case, I'm going to only use two of the three layers for the flowers. There's one layer is a solid image, and then another one has some more details, but still has a lot of coverage. And then the next one is going to have all those fine little details. In this case, I'm going to use only the two with the details. So I'm not going to get a huge amount of color. I want to, what I want to do is I don't want to have a blend of the colors. I want to have I want to have a good contrast and a pop. So I'm only using the two layers and I'm going to use the Puffy Heart ink with jet black. I really want it to be nice and bold. Now you could get really creative here and do some masking. This does come with as all their Build a Flower sets do. It comes with a die cut set. But I'm going to I know that I'm going to cover some of this up. So I just really want to have a nice cluster of the flowers on the bottom left side here. And then I am going to pull in another stamp set to create some layers on top of that. But this is such an easy, easy stamp set to line up. And I think as you, as you work with these build a flower sets and you have the guide, and you start seeing, if you've ever die cut your stamped images, you know when you get, get it just right. And sometimes you get it off. You know, I've, I've had my little, you know, mishaps where it's a little off. But they, they it's just like with these layered stamps. You see, you start to, to really get into the groove and you start seeing where the next layer goes. So I found this to be really super, super easy, unless maybe I'm actually finally getting better at layer stamping, but um, I do love it. All right, I want to create with the Say Cheese stamp set. I want to have this camera, but I want to have the crocus flower as the actual image on the camera. So instead of the cam camera being any kind of solid color, I want the I want to see the detail of the crocus flowers. So again, I'm only using those two detail stamps from the set. Now I do want to stamp, I do want to have the actual image of the camera. So I'm using the two layers of this stamp set here. And you know, I kind of made a goof. I started uh, I had stamped this out before to experiment. And I used a darker color. I used ruby red actually. And I'm using a paler pink here. And I, I should have known better that it's not going to show up against that puffy heart. So I'll go back to the ruby red. But I hesitated because I really don't want it to be too bold. So I blot it with the tissue and then stamp it. And it was actually a really happy accident. The top one is just the solid ruby red. And then the bottom one is all those layers of the light pink with the blotted ruby red. And I really like the look of that. So that's a really good happy accident there. Now, before I attach my camera, I want to add a little bit more to the background here. This is going to be a layout about Mother's Day since we just recently had Mother's Day. And I wanted to do a spread documenting last year's Mother's Day. So I'm using the sentiment wishing, which I think is perfect because it could be wishing for anything. And there's a sentiment also that says you. So you could really build on your sentiment here. But I'm going to stick with the wishing on this. And I am choosing a pale, pale blue. I believe I'm using sea glass here. Because I'm using a photo that's not a great image. It's a movie theater photo with those bright signs in the background. It's really hard to get a great photo with your iPhone. So I'm trying to pull that blue from the sign in the background. And that's my idea for that. Now I want to just touch on the camera real quick. Because I attached the camera here 
when I stamped it, I didn't like do it perfectly, but I did stamp the crocus flower in the direction so that when I overlay that camera with that crocus flower, it looks like it's part of that cluster down there. Now what I did here to finish off that background that I created with the wishing is I added some, some black stitching on my sewing machine and then I had a goop. So I stamped wishing on a piece of white cardstock, trimmed it really small to cover up the goop, the goof, and then just stitched the black uh, stitching right there. Now I just want to create some more clusters under this photo. It's going to be a pretty simple layout with a nice soft background with that pattern paper from the from the Live Your Dream scrapbooking collection, nice soft green. And then I'm gonna layer all of these stamped crocus and leaves. Now the leaves I stamped in that pale blue again, I believe it's sea glass, and then with the jet black. I wanted that contrast again. And as I tuck these in, I end up using everything here, I believe. So I just get it the way that I like it and then I carefully lift things up to get my tape runner underneath it or sometimes I will even use a little bit of foam adhesive on some parts but not many I didn't do a lot of foam adhesive on this one now some of those leaves I decided and some of the flowers I decided I liked also on the left side so I kind of finished that up I really love these long leaves I love the direction and the movement that they give now we just want to finish this off with a bigger wishing using the puffy alphas from the scrapbooking live your dream collection and that finishes that. Now I had another idea that I wanted to do using the all to new birch wood cardstock which is like a thin wood veneer piece of cardstock with the first layer of the crocus image with the more solid image. I wanted to emboss that and a distress embossing. And then I'm gonna stamp the final, the more detailed image. I'm gonna stamp that on top using my embossing ink. And then I'm going to emboss this in a bronze color. I use that same bronze color for the leaves. For the background of the leaves, I used Forest Glade. And then for the sentiment, I used the navy cardstock with that bronze embossing powder. Really simple, dramatic, totally different look from the Traveler's Notebook. Thank you so much for watching.